Well, it's morning o'clock. It's uh, time for a wander around town. Clouds building heavy out in the mountains. It looks good now, but it's going to be pretty bad out there today. So, yeah, I'm going to do an in town walk instead. Looks like it's going to be a nice one. Yeah. Right. I shall head on my way and head downtown. Now, if that is not a nice photo, I don't know what is. That's nice, eh? Perfect. Get that low cloud to the horizon. Actually works really, really well. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm going to be back in the shade here in a second. Oh, somebody's about to steal my sunshine. <laughs> right. Well, the uh, river's iced up quite a bit there. Some good ice on there. There's probably two or three feet of ice in places along there. It opened up part of the walkway along here, which is nice. Along what I call Lego Land. I call these apartments along here Lego Land because it all looks like they're made out of those glass Lego bricks. <laughs> this uh, barrier you see on the side here, this is part of the flood defence thing for the city. As they've made a whole bunch of berms all along here that um, make it possible to contain the, the river a little bit better. And the geese are having a lot to say about it, which is good. Hi geese. Makes you wonder how the heck they don't freeze over the winter, but they don't. <laughs> They're here all year. Yeah. They put in some new trees along here already, so that's good. The netting on the bottom there is to keep the beavers off because there's uh, quite a lot of beavers along here. As you can see, some of these trees have already been chewed at. Yeah. Well, it's important to keep this uh, wetland in Calgary here. This is literally in the middle of the city. This is downtown Calgary. And we have a pristine wetland here, pretty much. It's very important we look after that. There are beavers in here, ducks, geese, and Christ knows what else. Coyotes too. Get a lot of coyotes. But these ones over here, this is what I call Lego land. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they made a nice job of the walkway, I'll give them that. I wonder how far up they've continued it. Because this was all closed off for construction for most of the summer. <laughs> the ducks always find it funny. Eh? Yeah. That's good. Ah, it looks like they finished up some of this up here too. Oh, that's nice. This bridge is good. I'm kind of hoping we're keeping this bridge because they are putting a train track through here. There's a railway line coming literally straight through where I'm standing. 
on the front there and up over. We've got some more trees back along this side. Looks like they're doing a fair bit of planting along here, so that's good. They have to take out a whole schwacker, really big mature trees along here. Unfortunately, it, uh, it was required for the flood defence, so there's not really a great deal we can do about it. But they are putting them back in, so that is good. Yeah. Now, what did they build here? They built a little platform thing here. Normally in the, the winter, they uh, machine all this ice down in here so people can go skating here. It doesn't look like they've done it this year. Let's go see what they've done. Yeah, there's a whole track of trees along here. Well, they've planted a good number of them. That was good. It's nice to see. Yeah. This whole area is being revamped. Started with that bridge over there, I think, because the, the original bridge that was there uh, was getting a bit, a bit on the weak side. There's a lot of corrosion underneath it. And you can only repair a bridge a certain number of times before it's time for it to go. So. Let's get back up to the path. That is the new bridge. I don't mind the bridge, but the railing on it. I think they basically put the railing out to the cheapest bidder. A lot of people complaining about that railing. And no character whatsoever. Absolutely none. Yeah. I think that was uh, the case of whoever can put in the cheapest bid will use that. I'm going to head on up this way and uh, see what's open. It's early Saturday, so probably not a lot open at the moment. Right, going to head along here a little bit further, head up towards Peace Bridge. It's crazy to think where are we now? January, February, March. In a couple of months' time, some of these trees along here will start budding out again. Absolutely insane. I don't know where the time goes. Absolutely insane. There is a saying that the older you get, the faster time goes, and it does seem to, I tell you. Yeah. When you're a kid, like, six weeks off in the summer, holidays is forever. It's so long you even forgot what school was. Six weeks now is nothing, you know. Bing! Gone. One in a heartbeat. Hmm. Either I'm about to have a heart attack, or somebody is burning toast. <laughs> There's a very strong smell of burning toast right here. Cool, close it, eh? So either I'm about to have a heart attack, so if you suddenly see me hit the floor, you know I was wrong about the toast. So <laughs> God blimey that is strong. Can't really smoke billowing out of anywhere. So. Okay, well, it's clearing a bit now. Yeah, somebody back in one of those buildings over there has uh, seriously burnt their breakfast. <laughs> They're in for a bad breakfast. Peace Bridge is just up along here. They have quite a bit of it fenced off at the moment because some idiot decided he was going to break the glass on the bridge. Like they've got nothing better to do. So that all got broken. So they're replacing that with a different option now. They're going to uh, take the, the glass out on the bottom section. They can take the glass out on the bottom section and then they're going to uh, put in like this. Uh, High tensile steel wire, I guess. Stainless steel wire across there. It, uh, it has to have a barrier along the bottom to stop people falling in the river. But <laughs> However, yeah. so that is Calgary Peace Bridge. There was a big kerfuffle when they uh, decided they were going to build that. 
and actually now it has turned into a complete icon for the city so yes it seemed like a lot of money at the time now an awful lot of people come to see it it's insane looks like we have the traffic helicopter that looks like global news up there Please don't, because it's too noisy. Now I have a choice now. I can walk on upstream that way, cut across, or I can cut across this way and back up and around. Dilemmas, dilemmas. Just go get some breakfast somewhere. I know a very nice place for breakfast, but it's a considerable walk from here. So, see they have railings up across there at the moment because they've uh, taken out the remainder of the glass all along there. Yeah. Right, I think I will head up this way and uh, cut across to the breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> many, many good fooderies down here. Many. do for now. I'm going to go find some breakfast. Good timing for the downtown train. No walk through this part of downtown would be complete. Better walk past Wonderland. This is the Wonderland sculpture. If you don't like heights, don't look up there. <laughs> that is quite something. Yeah. This is actually very cool. Oh, somebody lost a glove. That's never a good thing. Yeah. That is really cool. Eh? <laughs> yes, very good. That's another one of those things that everybody was like, why do we need that in Calgary? But again, I see so many pictures of that from all over the world taken of there. I'm going to head back up towards the river. Right. The walk ends, unfortunately, with a lot of steps. <laughs> I would like a dollar for every step I've taken up here.
onwards and upwards. <laughs> right, back at the top of the hill. It was a nice walk round. I can see the cloud over the mountains in the distance over there. That's some pretty thick cloud. So I think uh, it's quite often that way. You look at the, you get up in the morning and you think, wow, what an amazing, beautiful day. I'll head out to the mountains. Played that game a few times. And then uh, you get out there and you find it's very, very cloudy. If you get the Chinooks come in with the west wind, and it, uh, all the cloud stays in the mountains and the sunshine comes this way. Yeah. <laughs> Done this picture a few times over the years. It's a nice place to stop, especially when you just walked all the way up them stairs. Yeah. It's really busy downtown. I can't get over the amount of construction. Absolutely insane. Everywhere you look, they've got everything dug up and cranes and all that kind of stuff. I've mentioned in the past that the uh, the national bird of Calgary is the tower crane. Uh, I've lived here for decades and I have never ever taken a picture of this city that doesn't have a tower crane in it. Not one. In all that time. Construction just hasn't stopped. We get speed ups and slow downs but it's always growing. As long as it's improving, that's the key. Improvement is key. When you start going backwards, that's not good. What a lovely blue sky. As man, that's some pretty thick cloud out there in the mountains. Yeah, I think I made the right choice of staying in town today. Not sure what the weather's going to do tomorrow, so I might head out that way tomorrow. We shall see. Yeah. With that. I think we'll do for now. Thanks for coming along for the walk.